a party every week, baby. Corey, 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 check it out. That's right, I'm in the house. He's gonna shake it up and change it. Just shake it up. Take it all and rearrange it. Just a little bit. Good afternoon, DC. I'm Scott. And I am Mason. And today is Monday, March 26th, and here's the news. Attention Key Club members, there will be an important meeting tomorrow at 7.45 a.m. in Ms. McCurdy's room, room 120. This is an important meeting and all members should make their best efforts to attend. Now stay tuned for this week's edition of Powers Points. Hey DC family, I uh, hope you guys have a great week this week. Remember this is our last week for spring break. I know that's something you probably, some of you guys are looking forward to, having a little break and, uh, and then coming back for the final stretch when we come back from spring break. I uh, want to continue on with uh, how to get along with people, basically. Um, got a few points today that I want to share with you. First one, show respect for the other person's opinions. Never tell them that they're wrong. Have you ever had someone tell you that you're wrong? What does that make you feel like? You want to get defensive, typically. That's your first response. But uh, have respect for their opinions. I mean, everybody doesn't think the same, and that's okay. Um, you, know, you don't have to agree with everybody. Uh, but you can respectfully talk to them and have a conversation. Um, if you're wrong, admit it quickly and emphatically. Um, it's always good to be able to talk to someone if they admit that they have some kind of fault involved in the conversation or the relationship or whatever. You respect them more for that. So remember that. If you're wrong, admit it. Just admit it. It's, it's, not, it's a pride thing if you think that you can't admit that you're wrong because we're all wrong at some point in our life. Begin in a friendly way. A drop of honey catches more flies than a gallon of gall. Uh, the friendly, sympathetic, appreciative approach wins. So, usually you get what you want in life a little bit easier if you begin with a friendly way. And if you don't get upset and get mad and be defensive and, uh, you know, push the other person back in the corner. Usually, uh, being beginning that way in a conversation or whatever with that person, being appreciative of them, showing respect for them, all those things are the are the, really the way to treat people, and people appreciate that. So, hopefully, you'll have a chance to maybe use some of those this week. Um, think about it, and if you do, see if it works for you. See if that that helps uh, dealing with people. Some shout outs today. I've got uh, Chris Sawwester sends a shout out to Miss Feldhouse's second period class. Uh, they uh, moved some monitors and computers for the uh, tech guys. Uh, they appreciate that. They said it took 20 minutes where it would have taken Rodney and Chris probably half a day to do that work. So appreciate that, you guys, for helping them. Second shout out today is to Miss Murphy, and it goes to Nancy Skiatis and Bill Gucci uh, for working with some of their, her advocates when they got behind. Uh, she got behind with technical difficulties. And also thanks to uh, Barney Hall for attempting to fix the problem. So thank you guys for working together on that. I know Miss Murphy appreciates it. Another shout out, this comes from Brittany Johnson. Uh, she likes to send a shout out to her Spanish three classes. She says that they're always respectful, friendly, and hardworking. They did a writing and peer editing this week and really helped each other with correcting mistakes and they were engaged in their learning. She also wants to give a shout out to uh, her advanced Spanish conversation class. She says they're always passionate about learning and really contribute to the class and interesting presentations and videos that they create. So it sounds like you guys are doing a good job with Ms. Johnson's class. Continue the good work. This comes from Mr. Hayden. Uh, shout out to Blake Boswell. Congratulations on being named to the East-West All-Star Game on April 14th at Trans Transylvania University. So Blake, uh, congratulations and keep up the good work. Uh, hope that you have a good time there and represent us well. The last shout out today is from Ms. Ford. Uh, this goes to Jacqueline Anderson, the junior, uh, for assisting students in her first block, always having a sweet smile on her face and bringing a spirit to her class. She says, I hope to have her as a colleague one day and she uh, has such a way of teaching and motivating others. So great uh, compliment there to Jacqueline. Uh, Appreciate all those shout outs and guys have a great week and as always stay classy DC. The DCHS boys golf team will be meeting tomorrow from 5 to 6.15 in the media center at DCHS. This meeting is for male students and their parents that are interested in playing on the DCHS boys golf team. 
The DCHS Annual WKRBC Student Faculty Blood Drive is scheduled for Tuesday, March 27th through Thursday, March 29th. Donors must be at least 17 years old or 16 years old with a complete parent consent form. Parental consent forms may be picked up in the Student Services Office. Donors must also weigh at least 115 pounds. Each donor will be rewarded a WKRBC t-shirt, plus WKRBC will donate $5 to Davis County High School in honor of your successful donation. To sign up for a time slot, please see Ms. Borman in Student Services. Attention students, from here on out you will use gmail.com to access your school email instead of Outlook. Your username and password will remain the same along with your school email address. The only thing that is changing is the way you access your email. Students, we would like to feature you and your pet in the 2018 yearbook. Take a picture of yourself with your favorite pet and email it to allie.head.davis.kyschools.us on Gmail this time. <laughs> so that it might be featured in this year's yearbook. Here's what's going on this week at Davis County. The boys tennis team will take on Butler at 4 o'clock p.m. at the center court. Freshman softball will take on Henderson at 5.45 p.m. tonight. Freshman baseball versus Apollo at 4.30 p.m. and JV at 5 o'clock. And also there will be an AYL meeting at 6 p.m. in the cafe. Stay, Stay classy, DC. DC.